Leo kabisa mtazamaji ambaye unapenda kipindi cha Wai Mashabiki mbona tunakujia kila Jumatatu moja nusu mpaka tatu nusu na vibe sasa hivi ni vibe ya summer time sababu tumekupa sugar ambayo unahitaji. Hivi vipi? Tuko na msanii umejionenda na mjengo ambaye amefanya vibao ambao vimekuwa gumzo na mzungumzia sero Ne, na kuwaje mzee? Asante sana. Kama kaa? Nipo salama. Shwari? Super excited about I today. I see. Gabisa, na, na furai sana wamekubali mwani kukuja kwenye kipindi. Kweli. Na mashabiki yoko walikuwa nataka kufamu mingi sana kusena na mziki wako. Yeah. Wengi waneza kuwa na fawamu mziki, lakini wajia mfawamu msani. Kweli. Kuna mba wana mfawamu msani na wajia mfawamu mziki. Yeah, so yeah. na mini leo watakuwa na fawamu vyote. Yeah, uh, mini kipenda tu niambie, machi tari kumina nane mwaka ilfumbi ilu kumina tano. Unakumuka nini kwenye kari yako mziki? That's the day mazee niliweza ku, ku announce mkataba wangu Nam. na company kubwa ambayo ina push mziki mziki Nam. mkubwa duniani mzima Nam. they own a big portion of that Nam. na niliweza ku, kutangaza kuwa mimi ni msanii ambaye yuko part of the universal family Nam. na niko hapa kusema kuwa nataka ku push mziki wa Kenya kuwa international kwa sababu najiamini na naamini na mziki wetu waweza kufika kiwango kikubwa zaidi ambacho wa Kenya hawajaweza kuona kwa sasa. Na ndio maana nimekuja hapa leo excited Nam. sana yeah. just to let the people know yeah. it's, a, it's time it's a nice time I'll see you. Kabisa. Yeah, na ndio yeah. pia ndio siku ambayo uliweza ku upload sugar kwenye mtandao wa YouTube ile channel yako ya uh -huh. Serone sio? Ye dano. Kabisa. That was such a long time man. Yeah, na sababu iliyopita. Ikaja yeah. ikafatiwa na sweet potato. Yeah, yeah. Ukaja ukafanya nyingine kama umeshirikisha FBI dance crew. Aha. Ukaja ukatoa na paroti nyimbo, alafu ukaja ukafanya Friday ukiwa na Madrax, yeah. ukaja baadaye ukatoa nyimbo Delilah, ukatoa party na Naomi, ukaja ukakuja ukakuja ulikuwa ulikuwa very active. Yeah. Alafu baadaye tukamwa na Serenea akatulia. Kipi kilitokea kwenye maisha yako mziki? Maisha yako mziki niweza kuenza kurudi pale kwenye drawing board kujiuliza no. nini ninachokifanya ambacho kinaweza kuni Mziki wa Kenya ni mziki ambao unabadilika sana no. na mziki wa Kenya wasanii wengi wanajulikana juu ya wimbo mmoja no. ama just one single two singles no. and wasanii wanga ni broad sana wasanii no. ni watu ambao wako na mambo tofauti wanayoyafanya no. na kuna style nyingi ambazo ningetaka kuzionesha katika mziki wangu na ndio maana nilichukua no. break kidogo no. tu wako na album so hizo no. miaka i think wakati wa covid ambapo ilipoanza nilikuwa nishaanza kuwakia album no. na niko na album ambayo itaweza kushtua inchi no. na itaweza ku place Kenya in such a big scale no. na mambo kama yale ndio yale hiyo uweza ku lead to me no. getting that record deal. Kabisa. So nimekuwa nikifanya kazi, no. nimekuwa nifanya album amba, album no. ambayo ina muziki mingi. No. Na tumeweza ku kujadiliana pale na record label tukajadiliana kusema kuwa tutafanya EP kwanza. No. So kwanza EP ndio itakuwa ya kwanza itakayotoka. No. Wimbo wa kwanza ndio Summertime, kuna wimbo wa pili, wa tatu no. ambapo EP itaweza ku kuwa released no. into the country. So miaka hiyo ambayo sikuweza kufanya muziki nilikuwa no. nafanya readjustments za kimaisha pia Nam. na nilikuwa pia naangalia na restrategize kwa sababu industry Nam. pia ukinapoiona pia it's a business Nam. and you have to work hard and provide for your family so Nam. mimi pia niweza kufanya mziki ki album sasa na sasa Nam. album imeisha sasa ni wakati wa kuoneshana kazi niyo kwa nikifanya miaka ile kabisa umesema kwenye ukimia huu ulikuwa unajifunza pia unarestrategize vitu vitu fulani yeah. ili kwa faida mtazamaji ambaye pia ni mwana mziki lakini pia uko kwenye biashara ya mziki yeah. uh, ni kitu kipi uliweza kujifunza cha tofauti ambacho ungependa kumfunza mtazamaji ambaye ni shabiki wa mziki na ambaye pia yeah. uko kwenye mziki na pia ni kitu kipi ambacho ukependa kumuonya mtazamaji ambaye ni shabiki wa mziki mm. lakini pia ni kufuatiliaji wa mziki Ah uh, kama wewe mwana mziki Nam. you have passion for music Nam. kitu naweza kuambia mm. ukiwa pale nyumbani ama wakati wote ambapo uko kivyako do your practice man do your deals do your time watu wanasemanga ukiweza kufanya kazi katika muda fulani utaweza kuwa expert so put in work na kama wewe ni msanii kitu ambacho naweza kuambia ji kinge ji protect sana au sio so mziki wetu unavyojua you know everybody is a bit out for themselves so if you're an artist you have to protect yourself so kitu ambacho niweza kujifunza pale ni kufanya vitu kwa kimya ambapo matokeo ndio ataweza kuongea so babu ile mkataba pia ulifanyika kitambo kidogo no. alafu ukaku announce baadaye so hizi ni mambo ambayo yanafanyika pale behind the scene so kama ni msanii pia usiwe na ule you know watu wanasema kierehere ya ku announce vitu haraka haraka fanya no. vitu ambapo utakapomaliza ndio uweze sawa ku announce to the world so as an artist so some of the things nimeweza kujifunza kibinafsi na pia kimziki no. na pia jambo lingine ambalo ningependa ku encourage especially the youth man because no. uh, Y254 man is for the youth I'll yeah, see you yeah, na yeah. ndio maana nipo excited sana yeah, niko yeah. na kundi ambalo laitwa New Africa yeah. New Africa na maanisha na uniting Africa pamoja yeah. ni kundi ambalo lina deal na ma youth you know yeah. 
Uh, the youths are actually the biggest population, man. The, yeah. the world, you can come at 20%, yeah. ni, wana, ni wana youth, you yeah. get me? Yeah. Na Africa tuko wengi, yeah. lakini unapo tazama, unamombo mengi ambayo wanarika and the youth are not surely, surely represented, you yeah. know? Na wakati unapita. So, mawitha yangu kwa msani, we TBD, to protect, na kama weni wana youth, you know? Check Amisa. us out, man. New Africa Pomoja Foundation. Tuko kwenye mtandao. Amisa. Tupata, yeah. uh, kengalia, so msani wa kwanza mbae na zee foundation. Kengalia penda Tanzania pesheta mifungo foundation. Yeah. Na ina, 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 ina nipa swali. Na juuliza. Yeah. Ni kitu kipi kina wapa nyi kama wasani. Mskumu wa kumuwa kuelekea ki, ki, kwa tika maswali ya create. Na, oga, ni na governmental organization. Kwele. Kwele. Uh, kufikia mbaka kwenye kutengeza vitu kama hivyo. Ni ile unapoangalia maisha yangu nilipokuwa nilikuwa young kiasi Nam. nilikuwa nasoma na producer moja mkubwa sana hapa Kenya anaitwa Vicky Pandes ambaye ame produce muziki wa Tile Brown muziki wa sani wengi na tulikuwa shule moja na ile shule tulikuwa na keyboard moja na katika hiyo keyboard moja nilikuwa naona mambo yakuwa mazuri sana kwa sababu ile keyboard bado ilikuwa ya CU Nam. ilikuwa bado ndo keyboard ya wakati kusule tuko na um, sherehe katika shule so Nam. kulikuwa mngangano pale na wasanii walikuwa na ile passion but Kuna vitu zingine kama Africans, yeah. Yeah, we are limited. So, kundi langu ama organization langu ni kupitia mambo ambayo mimi, challenges nilipitia mimi kibinafsi, na jinsi ni nawe wish, ningeweza kupatana mtu kama mimi wakati ule ni pokuwa nikianza mziki. Kwa sababu, Vicky Pandis, kama shule ingekuwa tuna keyboard ata mbili, yeah. ama nne, ingeweza kutusaidia. Lakini, mbio mbio kwa hale kidogo tulio kuwa nayo, tulueza pia kujikimu, tulueza pia kufika mbapo tumefika. So, mambo kama yale ndo hile ni miangalia, cause New Africa ina deal na performing arts, Sports, fashion, music, film, photography, yeah. governance and leadership. Now those are some of the things that I see the youth struggle with. So yeah. now our youth ni watu ambao, watu wengi wame wa misunderstand. You know, you can't understand what you've already judged. So wana youth wengi wana kuwa judge kwa sababu maybe una dreadlocks, una tattoo. So watu wengi, resources wa zipati. Na mambo kama yale ndo mimi kama msani niliona, ni nini naiza fanya apart from just music that I can help the next generation, yeah, and help my community. Na domana nu Africa niluweza kuji kufanya ili jambo pamoja simi peke yangu na watu wengi ambao tumeshirikiana nao makampuni na na furai na hata ndo maana nilijapa kwa sababu yeah. white for force for the youth yeah, yeah. na nimeshukuru sana kus, yeah. kus, kus, kuongea hapa na my youth wote katika East Africa yeah, yeah. ndao ndo mambo ambayo amenifanya mimi mwenyewe kutaka kufanya zaidi kuliko kuimba kabisa turudi hapo kati kidogo na ndio yeah. kutu maneno yako mm -hmm. ulisema kwamba pia kwenye ukimea wako yeah. ulikuwa ni kwa ajili ya kuja kujiweka vizuri kimaswala kima, kima, kima ya kifamilia yeah. so ningependa kufa serenade hivi aliingia kwenye ndoa na je kama aliingia kwenye ndoa tayari amezisha familia kwake ama bado yuko kwenye familia alikotoka <laughs> nipo kwenye familia Nam. na familia na haya kijana mdogo Nam. na watoto Nam. so pale nimeweza kufanya kazi na pia kifamilia naweza sema Mungu amenibariki na Na niko na behind the scenes ya yeah. summertime yeah. ambayo tulipokuwa tumeenda kufanya ile video yeah. nilienda kijarangu mdogo he's yeah. always tell me like yo i want to go to the coast man i want to go to the beach yeah. so i was like okay twende basi hata kupeleke na ilikuwa wakati wake wa kwanza kufika pale pale kuna maji ni yeah. so i fry sana yeye hata akuwa anashuhudika na video yeah. sisi tuko kwenye video kwenye beach tuna shoot stress na tukula lakini yeye yeah. he was actually having the best summertime so yeah kwenye behind the scenes utaweza kujua hayo zaidi Nam. na nayo mambo nayo post pale kwenye youtube pia yeah, vlogs vlog zako yeah, vlog zangu pale yeah. so unaweza nifuata kwenye mtandao utaona yeah. mambo nawafanya mimi ni msani wa ajabu sana kabisa naona ajabu una, sana una, 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 una document maisha yako kwa kawaida yeah you know life flashes so fast so yeah, fast true. utajua kesho unaweza kukupigia simu usishike juu utakuwa yeah. maybe Usha kuwa mkubwa zaidi. So, you yeah. never know, you never no. know. Na kupata. Yeah. Yeah. So, ukiangalia serio na yetu, kizungu msasa kazi yako mpia. Ni kazi ambao mimi mwanzo mshu siku. Ongera sana kwa quality na standard video mbo mifanya. Asante. Hivi kwa faida tuyo mtazamaji. Tuseme, imekula, imekula garama ila ngapi hivi? Hile imekula million manangu. Hile ni moja. Hile isha piga million na. Na. Kwa sababu, na. pale tuliweza kushoot na kamera ambazo za nguvu. Red cameras. Na. You know, yeah. I had to go with my crew. Yeah. We had to fly all the way. You get na. me? So, Kenya music maze Music is very expensive. Nam. So hile imenikula million na kuendelea pale. Nam. Na hiyo ni kufanya video tu. Nam. Kuna mkataba pale umba ulichorwa. Nam. So kuna mambo ya budget pale ya marketing. Na kuna follow up. So hile mambo ni mambo ambayo ya mekula pesa. Lakini si mambo ambayo ni kiafikiria na angalia pesa. Na angalia ni kipi kita chotokea kutoka pale. So summertime. One million. One million. Nasema yeah. milioni moja Aha. imekula pale kwenye summer. Kwenye Mbina video. Juliza, wakati unasema kwa mba umesutumia milioni moja tu kwenye video. Yeah. Na juliza mibinafsi. Kwenye, kwenye biashara mziki mziki uwa wa Kenya ama mziki Afrika wa chijee. Ila yeah. yoi narudi. Ayo ni swali, swali ambalo umeuliza ni very yeah. important. Lakini yeah. naza kuuliza pia we swali. Yeah. Do you believe that Kenyan yeah. music can be as big as Beyonce? 
inaweza kufika kule naamini waweza fika pale mm. bianzi ndo ndani alipo pesa ngapi ndo afanye show mingi anaingiza mingi sasa so pia pale biashara yote ambayo unayofanya uwezi uwezi kelea shilingi mbili Nam. upate 25 million yeah. you get me so you use money to get money so Nabisa. pale Nam. ni zile ni rules za dunia unapoekelea pesa unapofanya kazi nzuri Nam. jambo lile la mahana ni mziki mm -hmm. is a talent na so upate. pale ninapo record na mkataba tupoko tunajadiliana Nam. kitu kina kilichoongelelewa pale ni talent kwa sababu waweza chukua msanii ambaye ana talent ana following kubwa aitaweza at the end of the Nabisa. day Nam. the talent is the king Nam. so pale pale nimekelea mimi na i have faith in the song so even if we spend our close to a, a million shillings just on the video Nam. and close to more money on yeah. everything else Nam. na amini kuwa mziki ule utaweza kurudisha kwenye video umetumia outfits ngapi kama unakumbuka outfits zilikuwa mingi sana hata sikumbuki mm. magold chain <laughs> pale mwanangu <laughs> magold chain pale yeah. alikuwa ya pesa juu sababu zile gold chain Kamisa. zililetwa na case Nam. So zile chain wazo ziona wasanii wamevalia pale. Kuna zile watu wananua pale town, hizo waweza nunua zitakaa zile. Lakini zile zilikuja na makesi bwanangu kwa sababu lazima uvai the real thing. So the clothes that I wore were close to like 20 outfits. I didn't even get to finish the outfits by the way. Zingine niliweza kuziweka ambazo nazifanyia kwenye video ya pili. Ile by the scenes tukoonesha manguo ambayo tulikuwa nao pale. Yeah, so ilikuwa nguo kama 25 hivi. Nguo kama 25 25 outfits. Chains pale zilikuwa kama za 25 million. Unaelewa ni kwa nini video cost yeah. gharama zaidi ya milioni moja. Sasa ndio nei kabla uondoke kabla u launch kibao chako kipya yeah. mimi na maswali yangu nayaita kali za wana. Na leo kwenye kali za wana nitakuwa nakuuliza tu maswali mawili mepesi sana. Uh -huh. Ni kwa ajili ya mashabiki sio? Kweli. Ah uh, www kwa refu inamaanisha nini? World Wide Web. World Wide Web sawa. Yeah. Kwenye mashindano ya mbio ukiwa unashindana ukimshinda yeah. mtu wa pili unakuwa na mali ngapi? Hivi ukishinda mtu wa namba 2? Yeye yeah, unakuwa na mali ngapi? Number 1. Number 1. Yeah. Amepata amekosa. <laughs> I feel this is a trick question. <laughs> Kabisa amekamenu umekosa sababu ukimshinda mtu wa pili unakuwa mtu wa pili hujamshinda mtu wa kwanza. In summer time. Summer time. Sorry ni iko ndani ya mjengo sio nakupata vi kwenye mitandao ya kijamii. Wewe unapata kwenye mtandao kwenye Twitter I'm underscore serene, mm -hmm. Facebook serene, yeah. like my page. Yeah. Uh, Instagram I'm underscore serene. Yeah. Twitter pia niko pale. Yeah. TikTok yeah. serene mm -hmm. na niko kwenye Twitch pia. Yeah. Nakuwa naweza kufanya live zangu pale yeah. Facebook Instagram yeah. uh, Twitch yeah. so ni fate to connect and all the youths outside there yeah. who are watching across East Africa check out New Africa Pamoja Foundation let us now unite Africa yeah. Pamoja I'll see you Kabisa Asante Wakati TS kanaandaa muziki hapo kucheza ngoma yako mpya kwa mara ya pili nataka uangalie kamera nambari 3 watazamaji wa, waamini kwamba sio tu tune waamini kwamba ni yeah. sauti yako real so tupe kionje cha ngoma Haya It's been a long 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 time coming summer time every place is sunny we in the beach with my best friend Monique we got money go tell somebody akuna matata kuna matata we got no worries we got no worries akuna matata kuna matata we got no worries go tell somebody summer time bunny been the summer time love i'll see you summer time out right now worldwide Cute, be careful.